you are single, there is one thing you should always take with you when you go out on a Saturday night. Your friends. I once met a man with a sense of adventure. He was dressed to thrill wherever he went. I'll like totally go with you. That's your own class, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, we could go then. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I want to go shopping. It smells like BO in the hall, by the way. Like, I do not know what it is. It's like this, okay. specifically in the bathroom over there. I'm so dead. When did you use this concealer? Like, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I'm fucking dead. You know what? I feel the same way because I used my Charlotte Tilbury powder yesterday too, which, you know what? I can't shit on you because I need to shit on myself for <laughs> having that thing as well. So. Yeah. Good morning, Vlogiana. Happy freaking Thursday. Welcome to not a week in my life, but a couple days in my life because this week wasn't interesting. So I'm just gonna vlog the end of the week. Anyways, it's 8.42 a.m. and it's Thursday. I have my last class of the week. It is from 9.30 to 10.45. I'm currently eating breakfast. This has been the staple of the year so far. It's just overnight oats. It's easy and I don't have to eat the D-Hall eggs, which I feel like I'm getting quite sick of. And let me show you my OOTD. I was a lot of work shopping for this to happen and I fear I still don't like it, but cardigan is from Glaçons. My tank is from Primark. My shorts are from Depop and I got my Wales Bonners on. I have these earrings that are 100%, 60,000% rusted over and then my name necklace, which I've been wearing. So that's the outfit. Not sure if I like it. That's the update for now. I don't think anything of interest happened that I need to tell you. We did hit 3k, which is so exciting. So thank you guys so much. There she is. I think I'll speak on that later because I'm feeling a little bit rushed right now, but I wanted to bring that up first because that's a very exciting achievement. I'm gonna head over to class in a bit. We're going to Newberry later, so I'll bring you along for that and I'll see you in a bit. Option one, option two. I'm f with this. That goes hard. Need extra wide glasses. Do they have like a different color? Mm -hmm. See, I want something kind of like this. I want. Oh, so we're in Awesome. Smell test. It just smells like alcohol. We gotta let it dry down. Oh, that's yummy. That's really yummy. Marshmallowy a little. What I'm just smelling alcohol. To be honest. If you like snort it a little bit, <laughs> then you get the alcohol. Do I do? Wait for hey girl, alcohol? yeah. Put okay, this one in. Just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <That's okay>. So much. <laughs> I ate it a little. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this this smells like alcohol. Strawberry. That's good. It's kinda, I kind of. Sugar lychee that I had. This that smells really sugar good. Sugar lychee from Fresh. That was like my favorite. But that's like milk minus, milk, milk positive. Well, what's Juice that? Minus. <laughs> this is this is capitalism. Attacked by the birds. Bird review. So many, so much bird. Yeah, and they were like looking at us like menacingly. Isn't there that theory that they're like sent by the government? Yeah. Isn't there like that group of people who are eating birds out of world? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like fake. No, they're like robots. <laughs> they were looking at yeah. I know, they were looking fake. Well, there were so many. And that one was Yeah, there were so many. And they were looking at our ice cream. Ice cream hall. They're good. Sunny and Gorge. And I have ice cream in my hand. Yeah. This is a maze. Lunch. <laughs> Lunch. Oh, wait, we're basically twinning. Yeah, we are. Swim. Swim.
Good morning guys, happy freaking Friday. It's been a while since I've given you an update. I'm hating my hair right now. Kind of wearing something very formal because I don't want to outfit repeat, but honestly, who cares? Like, outfit repeat, girl, it's really not that deep. Anyways, I'm currently getting ready for the day. I have no class today, which is so freaking lit because I don't have class and it's Friday. Are you kidding me? That's so exciting. The vibes are pretty chill today. I'm just gonna be working at the D-Hall for most of the morning and then we're gonna meet up with our freshman year friends and we're gonna have dinner life updates i don't know don't know what to tell you i've been kind of on top of filming i think i filmed almost every week that i've been here which is only like two weeks but i'm really trying to schedule my content so in the case that i do have something go on in my life and i'm not able to post i'll have something on backlog don't know why i'm wearing makeup because it's i literally don't have class but sometimes you need to put on makeup to really make an outfit an outfit if you know what I'm saying. Something I've been doing recently with my makeup, I've just been kind of concealing right here. It just accentuates the structure in my face a little more. Said structure, don't know where to be found, but, and I let that sit and kind of dry down a bit. Do you guys want a full makeup routine? Let me know, because I can totally do one. This is like light makeup to me, which is crazy because by no means is this light makeup at all. Okay, let's do some blush. This is the one and only blush that I really use, but I got sent this blush. Ooh. Got sent this blush in PR it's from Clover. It's this cutie coral color and it's in the shade Juice. Okay, she's giving pigments it okay. It kind of has my Patrick Tall blush kind of on it as well. So we're kind of mixing. I need to blend a little more. It's giving a very bomb sheer vibes. I always place my blush above my nose and not past the end of my eyebrow. It keeps the blush on the center of the face and it doesn't take away from the rest of my... I don't know how to explain it. I actually really like this shade. I think it's really pretty. It's like a perfect flush color. I know I look so crazy on camera. I'm gonna under blush. I've been putting the concealer on my wrist recently because if I just put it directly under my eyes, it creases and it pills and it looks so bad. So if y'all have really dry under eyes like me, it is much more beneficial to build up your concealer and put it on with a brush instead of putting it directly under your eye and also it's just a lot more of like a seamless and natural blend i'm gonna stop rambling because i know y'all don't care about this and i'm gonna go finish on my makeup and then i think i'm gonna change my outfit and i'll get back to you for an ootd okay team i'm sort of kind of ready don't know if i love my outfit don't know if i love my hair i'm giving is it too much is it too much i'm currently outfit repeating so if you saw this on tiktok no you didn't i've never worn this ever before my shirt is thrifted it's so thread up it's a red stuff shirt and my pants which i've worn so often it's not even funny i wear these jeans so much they're from lioness i'm obsessed i love these jeans so much and i'm wearing my name necklace and um over hoops that are rusted the same ones i wore yesterday that's my look i'm kind of i'm not digging the bang for some reason i'm giving very patriotic vibes right now i'm not sure if i'm like rocking with that i'm gonna go I'm gonna pack my bag and I will chat with you guys later. I have a lot of work to catch up on for this weekend. So I'm gonna work on that and I will see you soon. I'm back from the dining hall. Why do I hate my hair even more? Rhea got me a claw clip at CVS, which I've been needing, so I might change up this hair because why do I look like that? I look like a little boy, bro. Oh my god, let's talk about hitting 3K because I haven't had a chance to speak on it yet. Sorry I have to do this while I'm putting on my hair, but I'm so grateful and I'm so proud of me. I'm proud of I'm proud of us. I'm proud of everything, you know. Just know that you're making a very young girl, the young girl inside me, very, very happy. 3K is really not a place that I ever expected myself to be at. Like when I posted my college decisions video, I thought it was just gonna be like some fun thing to maybe kickstart a side hobby. It's turned into so much more than that and I can't thank you guys enough. I'll say it every time. I'll say it, you know, constantly how grateful I am for this community and the opportunity to be able to film and create videos like this. I am so, so, so grateful and I hope you know that there is not a day that goes by where I'm not. I've been blessed with this opportunity and I try to take it seriously as much as possible obviously y'all know i love to have fun but i really really try my best to keep up with this because it is something that i see as a priority being in your 20s and being in your late teens i feel like is a very transformative period of life and i'm so 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 grateful and blessed and glad that i get to document that whether it be for my you know viewing pleasure or you know my families or just like someone who just happens to pass by thank you guys so much for your k i am eternally eternally grateful and i'm feeling very very blessed 
I need to get back to working. I need to get back to editing because as I said before, I'm stockpiling a bunch of videos for you guys. And then I think I'm gonna try and finish up some more work. This is for the vlog. Good morning, happy freaking Saturday. I'm looking disheveled. I'm currently self tanning and my chest is peeling because I don't have fake tan remover, so I just look like this half the time. Anyways, we're gonna ignore that. Happy Saturday. Last night was so much fun. I love seeing all my freshman year baddies because to the core, those people are like my people. As y'all can tell, um, we're on our pool game. We're on our pool vibe. We're starting a professional pool team. So if you start seeing pool every video, every week, just know that we're taking it really serious even though it may have taken us more than an hour to clear the table last night like the weirdest thing happened if you're a girl if you're a woman i feel like you can relate to this last night my roommate and i we were walking home and this guy came up to us and he was like do you guys have change and we were like no we don't and then he proceeded to ask me like where are you from and when i heard where are you from i was like oh he's asking me what state i'm from lie girl always lie never tell anyone where you're from your uber driver where you're from never tell your lyft driver where you're from lie so i'm from texas and he goes are you sure like you look like you're from china you weren't born here right and i go no i'm actually french I'm not french girls i go no i'm french and he goes are you sure you're not like chinese or japanese and i tell him babes i've never been called that before I, I don't get that that often i don't get asian that often i think i actually like bamboozled him because he looked genuinely confused because i'm asian girl i'm asian but i'm not gonna tell you that i'm not gonna tell you that and then he was like y'all look so pretty and then we ran for our lives. In a situation like that, I never really stop and talk to someone because as a woman, you never know what is going to happen to you. Usually I don't entertain things like that, but we were stopped at a crosswalk and you know, it's like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? But I just kind of wanted to add this in like this story, even though like nothing happened. A reminder, if you're a college student to please, please, please stay safe and don't give your information out to everyone. I don't know. I think this is common sense when a stranger asks you where you're from to not say where you're from. But I wanted to give a reminder because it's so common and it's so frequent and it's just something that us as women have to deal with. And it is and it is annoying that that's the way that it is today is very chill i'm gonna catch up on all my work because tomorrow i'm getting brunch with some friends and i kind of just want to get everything out of the way and that's pretty much it for saturday good morning guys i'm looking crazy but i'm gonna look stunned by the end of this so please do not Fret. Currently getting ready for brunch. I'm doing pin curls. Do you have any music requests? I literally have no idea what to play. SZA? Bro, all the bathrooms smell like I know, I'm like- Bro, there has to be something wrong with our ventilation. Yes, I do. I think I'm gonna do like low-key my everyday makeup, but I'm gonna take it a little slower. Yeah. The weather or- I have to open the blinds because my makeup looks better like this. I refuse to sit in like the dim lighting. very sabrina carpenter hair I'm giving am i giving sabrina okay vlog here's my final brunch outfit i did my hair in pink curls if y'all want a tutorial let me know curl my bangs and this is the dress it's from victoria's secret and i'm wearing my sambas which i'm not the biggest fan of i wish i had something a little more formal but so that's the final fit and we're gonna head off to brunch i'm obsessed with this hair i think i might do it more often because am i giving sabrina am i giving sabrina